in our previous lecture we have studied to formulate the zero sequence network for three phase transformers for various kinds of connections whether it is star delta or star is grounded or not grounded according to uh, these various connections we try to formulate some thumb rules so that we can form or make zero sequence network for any kind of connection so to improve that concept further and have some firm grasp on that let us solve some other examples in this slide i have shown four five circuit diagram for three winding transformers so since it is a it, here i am trying to show three winding transformer with primary secondary and tertiary winding then i advise you that you should first study my lecture number 61 that is you should first visit lecture number 61 where in which i have covered basics of three winding transformer and various terminologies used for the description of such kind of transformers so once you are fully clear with those calculations then i suggest you that you should watch this lecture so in this board i have drawn these five networks and the question is to draw the zero sequence network for each of them so let us try to do that so as i already told that in my lecture number 61 i have derived the various leakage impedances or the series impedances for various windings as zp was equal to 1 by 2 zps zpt minus zst now i have covered in that lecture number 61 that these all the three values should be on the same voltage level and the voltage ampere base okay similarly zs was found to be 1 by 2 zps plus zst minus zpt and zt was found as 1 by 2 zpt plus zst minus zps now if we use proper voltage and the va base then we will find that all these impedances zp zs and zt will be on one of the bases that is these all will be referred to one of the windings only like in a two winding transformer what we do we usually take z1 and z2 dash where z2 dash is nothing but the secondary impedance referred to primary so if i use proper bases in all these three then i will get all these values on one of the side of the transformer okay so i will use the zp zs and zt in my equivalent zero sequence network for these kind of connections so let us draw the zero sequence network for the first question here we are given that primary is star connected with neutral grounded tertiary is delta connected and secondary is also delta connected so from this side we can see that zero sequence current can flow since they are having a path from neutral to ground similarly delta is present so if zero sequence current are there they will induce zero sequence circulating current in them so it shows that zero sequence current can flow okay so from the primary side the terminal p the trans uh, the currents will see the equivalent impedance series impedance of the primary okay now they will also see the equivalent series impedance of this delta
जेड एस एंड दे विल गो इन टू दी ग्राउंड ओके और दी रेफरेंस बस हाउ एवर दिस टर्सरी साइड दिस टर्सरी साइड इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैव एनी करंट लाइन करंट ऑन द लाइन ओके ऑन द टर्सरी साइड सिमिलरली दिस सेकेंडरी डेल्टा विल ऑफर इस एन इंपीडेंस ऑफ जेड एस टू दर्कुलेटिंग जीरो सीक्वेंस करंट ओके हाउ एवर दीज कैन नॉट बी प्रेजेंट इन दी सेकेंडरी लाइन सो इट विल बी एन ओपन सर्किट सो इन दिस वे आई कैन मेक दी जीरो सीक्वेंस नेटवर्क फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ कनेक्शन ओके now let us see the second case now here you can see that primary cannot have zero sequence current because neutral is isolated okay so it is a, the second is a special case of first okay so it will be simply an open circuit at this point also and if somehow even though since it cannot have any zero sequence current okay so it will be usually not seen in normal scenario if somehow something induces some zero sequence current in this winding and this winding they can only circulate inside them but not in the line so this is the equivalent zero sequence network for this kind of connection practically i need not show this thing okay since there cannot be any zero sequence current since uh, this winding is not going to flow any zero sequence current because neutral is isolated but to complete their circuit i showed that thing okay so to just complete the circuit i have shown this thing now let us take a case for the third part okay here you can see that this star is not having neutral connected to ground so zero sequence current cannot flow clearly in this side zero sequence current cannot flow if there is some zero sequence current from this side then there will be circulating current in this delta okay so the equivalent zero sequence network will be simply an open circuit from this side okay but from secondary side we can clearly see that zero sequence current can flow in the line also so these current will face the series impedance of the secondary and circulating currents will be there it will be just equivalent to uh, putting them into ground the reference of the zero sequence network however on the tertiary side they cannot flow in the line so this will be the zero sequence network for this kind of connection now let us see this one now again the fourth one is a special case of third one you can see now that the zero sequence current can flow in this side also since neutral is connected to the ground okay so the only thing is i will connect this to here so the zero sequence network will be like this only now in the fifth part i have taken a very special case 
in which it is star delta with star neutral connected to ground but delta in this delta i have introduced an impedance z in addition to the series impedance seen from any one side of the transformer so what can be the equivalent zero sequence network for this kind of connection now in my previous lecture i have told that for a delta connected system if circulating currents are there and impedance z naught is present in every limb of delta and e naught is induced in every limb of delta then the equivalent zero sequence network will be simply z naught like this okay since the circulating current can be clearly shown as 3 times of e naught divided by 3 times of z naught so the zero sequence current will only face z naught now in this special case only z is present that is it is not present in these two limbs okay so what i can do i can show it to be z by 3 okay since it is only present in the one of the limbs and other two limbs are not having this impedance okay so what can be the equivalent zero sequence network for this kind of transformer let us see the zero sequence current will flow in the line from star and go to the reference okay now these zero sequence current will face this series equivalent impedance seen from the primary side okay in addition to the impedance caused because of this impedance in the delta limb so the equivalent zero sequence network will be simply this is the primary side current can flow zero sequence can, current can flow it is the equivalent series impedance of the transformer and this z naught or the z will be divided by 3 because of the explanation which i have just given and this is the secondary side because in delta there cannot be zero sequence line currents so this will be the equivalent zero sequence network for this connection now in my previous lecture i tried to show one more thing uh, where the excitation impedance is not infinite is having some finite value then i try to show the equivalent zero sequence network in that thing there is a little modification what is that in that i have shown that it was a star connected transformer let us say core type transformer three phase and a single phase load ZL was connected. Okay. And this side let us say star was given. Now I had told that clearly there cannot be any zero sequence current in the secondary side okay because of isolated neutral so if somehow this single phase load is being fed only th this current will be the excitation current okay so this is neutral okay so the equivalent zero sequence network will be current is flowing the zero sequence current are flowing in the primary side okay they will face an impedance equal to the excitation impedance and this zl will be transformed into three times of zl and that was the reference for the zero sequence and this side it was open okay 
so a little modification should be done to that part in the previous lecture so that we can also cater for the zl if it was no zl only this thing was like this like this fault is there line to neutral fault is there then the equivalent network will be simply like this this 3 zl will be equal to 0 and it will reduce the to the previous case which we have studied in our previous lecture so in this way i have covered six kind of network in this lecture and i hope this covers every kind of possible situation for three winding transformer as well and it clearly shows how to make zero sequence network for any kind of connection now there can be also special case for off normal tap ratio transformers auto transformers also but following the same concept we can make zero sequence network for any kind of connection so if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you